Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you another pregnancy update for weeks 25 and 26 with our baby girl that is due on May 4th. So if you are interested in seeing what the past couple weeks have been like for us, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I'm in my 26th week now and the baby is a size of kale. So I use the Bump app and I really love this app. A lot of people ask me what app I use when I post pictures on Instagram of like baby stats. Um, it says baby's eyes are forming and the eyes will start to open soon. That's crazy, I didn't know that. Um, her eyelashes are now grown and her immune system is getting ready for life on the outside by soaking up all my antibodies. She's drinking a lot of, or breathing a lot of amniotic fluid, not air, but it's still good practice, it says. And she is about 14 to inches and about 2.5 pounds, give or take. So yeah, that's um, pretty much the stats for baby girl right now. We call her Baby Cherick because my husband Eric and I, our couple name is Cherick. So we refer to her as Baby Cherick. Um, we do get asked a lot um, if we have a name for her and we have one that we have been calling her other than Cherick. Um, and we don't exclusively call her this name, but we've been playing around with it. And we really like it, but we're just not sure if that's her name yet. We want to wait until she's here to hold her and see her and decide if that's her name. Another question I keep getting asked is if we have a birth plan. And yes, we do, but not like a formal birth plan. Not one that's like written out, but I have discussed this with my doctor and we are just basically new to this and totally just unsure of how things will go. And I don't want to have any expectations. I just want to have a healthy, safe delivery um, and a very healthy, happy baby. So I also have a lot of anxiety around pain and stuff. And so I'm definitely getting the epidural um, and just sort of putting my trust in the doctors and nurses. I really love my doctor um, and I'm, I love the hospital that we're going to be delivering at. And so I am just kind of putting my trust in them that they will take the very best care of us and we will have um, a smooth, I'm trying to put positive vibes out there that we will have a smooth uh, labor and delivery and all will go well. I'm not expecting anything to play out a certain way. I just, like I said, hope for a safe and healthy delivery of a healthy baby girl. Um, I would like to not be induced if that could happen, but who knows, um, I might go overdue and just need to get induced or just be so uncomfortable and just over it that I would just wanna be induced by then. So anyway, that's pretty much our birth plan. So I haven't gotten anything new so far in this, the past couple weeks. Sometimes I'd like to share new maternity clothes I've gotten or baby clothes, but I have um, I mentioned in our last update that we're really just focused on um, organizing our house and furnishing it um, the way we would like it to be. Uh, so I haven't really spent a lot of time the past couple weeks doing much for baby. And I feel like with as far as maternity stuff goes, um, I'm good for now. I might get a couple things for the spring because it's going to start to warm up and I will still have a big belly. And I don't really have any <laughs> spring clothes that will fit me right now. So... Um, anyway, so that's pretty much it as far as like any new items go. Another question I usually answer in these pregnancy updates is, um, how much weight I've gained so far. And I went to the doctor last week, so I do know, I did see the amount of weight that they took down that I've gained since I, since my first appointment with them. And I think it was about 23, 24 pounds. Um, so that's where I'm at right now, which is fine. Um, my doctor has not mentioned a thing about weight, so obviously 
I'm good there. Um, I would assume you'd bring it up if it was an issue, but I know you're supposed to uh, gain about 25 to 35 pounds, give or take, but um, I'm really okay if I gain more than that, honestly, because I have been taking such good care of my body as far as like exercising and eating as best I can. I've really been, I, I've really made that a priority, so if I gain more whatever, then I'm not too worried about it, I guess. As far as stretch marks go, still no stretch marks around the belly or the hips. And I mentioned this in every pregnancy update, but I definitely have stretch marks on my chest. Lots of them, and I swear I'm getting even more. My chest just looks so different than when I first got pregnant. Oh well, that's just, it just comes with the territory. And then the next question is, how are you sleeping? Actually, lately I've been sleeping pretty good. I have had a couple nights of insomnia where I've woken up and haven't been able to fall back asleep. But in those cases, I just take half a Unisom because my doctor said that was fine. Um, because a lot of times I feel nauseous when I wake up at those times too. And I feel like I have to eat something and Unisom really helps with the nausea for me at least as well. So um, once I get in my comfy position with my pillow between my legs and by, on my back, then I usually sleep pretty, pretty good. And I'm even having a lot of dreams now again because I think I'm just sleeping really hard. <laughs> but most of them have been not too intense, but I've had, I have had a couple really intense, like real dreams, like I did in my first trimester. But overall, I'd say my sleep has been pretty good. So the best moment from the past couple weeks, um, something that comes to mind, I guess, is like I said, I, I told you we are kind of furnishing our house and decorating it and stuff since it's a newer buy in the last year. And we just, oh, we're almost done with our master bedroom and I'm, it just is so nice to have some new furniture and new bedding and it just feels so cozy in there and I just keep thinking about how excited I am to bring our baby home to that room because it will be just so, I don't know, cozy for all of us to be in there because she will be sleeping in that room with us. I haven't quite figured it out how like the bedding situation like what we're going to use I'm thinking a pack and play bassinet setup thing um in our room for the first couple months I don't think we're going to be doing co-sleeping because I'm not like that just sounds hard <laughs> um but yeah I just keep thinking like about how nice that will be because it's just so cozy in there and I'm just excited to cuddle in there with her and yeah bring her home to that cozy room so that was a nice moment to just get that all done and just enjoy being in there because it's been a while since we've had like a really um cozy master bedroom so that's been that was good that was a good moment so I am definitely feeling baby move a lot like a lot she is just constantly I'll be sitting in a meeting at work and she's just like punching me and kicking me and having a grand old time in there unfortunately Eric has not felt her move yet which is kind of sad because I really want him to fill her move, um, but every time I'm like, oh my gosh, come fill her, come fill her, she stops, of course. So let me know when, if you guys have been pregnant, when your partner finally felt your baby move, because I'm 26 weeks now and I just thought by now he would get that chance, but hopefully soon. I'm, I know he'll get it eventually, but sooner the better, because it's just, you know, it's something that... Um, it only comes in pregnancy, and this has just been such a um, miraculous pregnancy for us, I guess, I feel like. And I just want him to be able to enjoy that part of it, because who knows if and when we get to do this again. So anyway, let me know when your partner or spouse was able to feel your baby move. So as far as cravings go, I haven't really had... Um, so, like way crazy cravings. Um, the only thing that I, I guess I've probably craved in the past couple weeks is toast. I just wanted like a lot of toast and I think it's because I haven't been feeling well. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in my symptoms, but um, yeah, just toast. I went through a whole thing of bread within honestly less than a week and that usually never happens. We don't eat that much bread around here, but 
I had a lot of dose the past <laughs> couple weeks. And nothing right now is really making me queasy or sick as far as like morning sickness goes. I totally thought morning sickness was back, but it turns out it was a stomach virus. So like I said, we'll talk a little bit more about that in my symptoms. But yeah, I, um, I sometimes if I don't eat first thing in the morning, I do feel like I feel a little crummy, like a little bit of twinge of morning sickness. Um, and so I just make sure to hurry and eat like some toast <laughs> and that goes away and then I'm fine. So as far as symptoms go, I am just getting more and more tired and the belly is just getting more and more in the way. Like I really just cannot do the same things that I was doing around the house. It's just gotten harder and harder and I've really just had to let myself lay down and rest and just deal with the fact that I just can't, I'm growing a human, I'm carrying more weight around, I can't just expect to be able to clean the whole house and have energy to do stuff after that. Like I have to break up, I've been having to break up my cleaning um, a lot throughout the week rather than try and do a bulk of it on the weekend or something, which is what I usually do because I work full time um, and I really am picky about a clean house. Um, and lately it's been even heightened because about a month ago, I honestly just started feeling the nesting like urge and not so much with the baby stuff yet. I'm, I'm feeling that, but we're going to wait on that because like I said, we're decorating and getting our house furnished and stuff. But along with that, we're also really like organizing and just cleaning, deep cleaning. Like I'm just going a little crazy with everything that I'm doing that way. Like I'm pulling out the oven and cleaning it under that and the under the fridge and just like dusting baseboards and just, I'm just going crazy with that and organizing every drawer I can see and every closet. <laughs> um, so, but that is exhausting and I am having to really just take my time and do a little here or there and not try and accomplish all of it in one like go. So that's been tough for me because I, I, I want to just do it all and I know I can, but physically I really can't. I have to let myself rest. And so I sort of like put rest, like resting on my to-do list every day. Like make sure you lay down and rest, not like just at night when you go to bed, but you actually like lay down and take time to rest after work or even in the middle of the day. Um, yeah, so just to, and I think of it as just a way that I'm just taking care of baby and myself, um, just giving myself that downtime to recover and stay healthy because rest when you're pregnant is a very important part <laughs> of um, your health. So along with that, I really have not been exercising as much the past couple weeks and that's been hard for me because I love to exercise. I really love it. But um before when I was exercising before I got pregnant, you know, in the earlier weeks of pregnancy, I did it because it was a very like good mental, um, release, I guess. I just felt nice to work out and gave me not only energy, but like mental clarity and stuff. But, um, I just, I can't do as much. I really can't. It's just too hard on my body right now. So I've just been, um, lifting weights a little bit here and there. Um, kind of been going for walks, but I've been feeling a lot of sciatic pain lately. So I don't go for lo like long walks, just very short walks to the park to throw the ball around for my dog. Um, and then just some really light weight lifting, but then I continue every morning to do at least 15 minutes of yoga. And that is just that's where I get my mental clarity and I really feel like such a relief on my body when I do the prenatal yoga. I always do specifically prenatal yoga and um, I just search it on YouTube and it seriously is amazing. I love it. Um, so that's been my main form of like movement and exercise. And then another symptom that's been going on lately, well this is more an actual sickness, um, last week I had pretty bad, um, like stomach, a, a stomach virus, I think. So we watched my niece and nephew a couple of weeks ago and, um, I noticed my 
niece had a little bit of diarrhea and a tummy ache, but she didn't seem too upset about it. So she seemed okay. I didn't think too much about it, but I'm thinking maybe I got that stomach bug from her because a couple days later I had, sorry, this is TMI, but this is a pregnancy update. Um, I had diarrhea for, um, a good like three days. And on Friday, I finally just called the doctor cause I didn't want to go into the weekend feeling like really crappy and ending up in the ER or something. Cause I started Googling like diarrhea and pregnancy and said, if you have, have it for longer than two days, you should call your doctor. Um, so it was like the third, almost fourth day. And so I decided to call my doctor. He was actually on vacation. So I had to see another doctor and they, I went in, they were able to get me in Friday afternoon. And, um, by this point I just started feeling really, I was feeling really tired and weak from it. And I just, my back ached and I just felt really crummy. And I assumed I was dehydrated. I was having a little bit of a do abdominal cramping pain a little bit. Um, and I assumed I was dehydrated, like I said, um, just because that happens really easily with when you have diarrhea, but I was making a really good effort to drink a lot of fluids and Eric was out of town too. And he'd just gotten back Friday afternoon. So he was able to take me to the doctor. Thank goodness. Cause I hate going to the doctor by myself. Um, and when I got there, they checked me, um, for like a bladder infection and they checked my ears too. Cause I had a lot of pressure in my ears. I just felt really crummy. So they did a lot of, um, they asked me a lot of questions and, um, you know, they checked the baby's heartbeat and I had just gone to the doctor a few days before that to, um, my regular OB and I did go to my OB because their practice is also a family practice. Um, but like I said, my OB was out of town on vacation. So I saw a different doctor and, um, basically by the end of the appointment, they were like, we can do blood work, but seems like you might just have the stomach virus that's going around. They've seen it in a lot of people and pregnancy sometimes just heightens the symptoms a little bit or makes them last a little bit longer. Um, but he says most likely you should feel better within a day or two. And if you don't, then, um, go ahead and call us on Monday and, and we'll get you taken care of, you know, and if you feel any more abdominal cramping or pain, then maybe you should go to labor and delivery and have them monitor, monitor you at the hospital. And that kind of scared me, but ultimately I did end up feeling a lot better and, um, my symptoms subsided and I am assuming it was just the stomach virus that's been going around, which was no fun at all. And being sick and pregnant at the same time is rough. So I'm just glad to have jumped over that hurdle and hopefully fingers crossed. I don't get any more sicknesses. Um, I've been pretty lucky so far, honestly, I haven't really had the flu or anything. Um, you know, the, any of the typical like colds that go around in the winter, like I do feel really lucky for that. So I'm like knocking on wood hoping that I can continue to have a healthy, um, pregnancy with no extra little sicknesses on top of it. So my belly button is still not, um, it's still not an Audi yet. It's still an innie, but it's very stretched. We'll see. I keep wondering if it's going to pop out, but it's pretty, it's pretty flat in there. Um, we'll see. And my rings are off. And I'm pretty sure, I think my ring was off last update, but I could be wrong, but it is officially gone. Um, I think I'm going to order just like a fake ring sometime this week. We'll see. And in the past couple weeks, I'd say I've been just as moody as I've been happy. Um, I have, yeah, just, no, I wasn't feeling my best. And so I'm thinking that I just have, um, just been grouchy because of that. So, um, hoping that this ne the next couple weeks bring a happier version of pregnant Chelsea, because, you know, I don't want to ha have Eric suffer through my pregnancy <laughs> with, because of my moodiness and sorry if the lighting is a little crazy right now. Um, it's like 
changing a lot in here right now because the sun is just about to go down. Anyway, so we'll finish up here in a second. I should mention at my 26 or 25 week appointment with my OB last week, he did give me the um, juice that I'm supposed to drink, whatever, I think it's like fruit punch or something, uh, for my gestational diabetes test. So I need to go in this week and get that done. I can drink it at home, he said, and then just come in an hour later to get my blood drawn and then they'll give me the results, I think, a couple days after that. So I need to do that this week. I will update you guys probably on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram if you're not already. Um, and then I will probably talk about it in my next update. Hopefully, you know, no diabetes um, going on here because that would not be fun. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping I get some good results back from that. And as far as my doctor's appointment goes, I, everything looked great. Um, baby's heart beat was like 142 and, and then it was like 132 on like a few days after that. Um, when they checked it again at my, when I went in for my stomach virus. Um, so I don't know if that's normal for the baby to drop and vary that much within a few days, but both doctors seemed perfectly fine with it. Um, yeah, and so the last question I'm going to answer is what am I most looking forward to in the next couple weeks? And gosh, I don't know. I like probably just the same old thing I've been saying, just like getting my house ready <laughs> and just every like um, room we get done with organizing and decorating and putting it together is like a really nice check off my list. Um, I said I wanted to get baby's room done by the time I was 30 weeks, but who knows if that'll happen because a lot of the stuff we want to get for her, I mean, I think the room we can get done by then, but a lot of like the baby gear we want to get for her, um, we're waiting till after our baby shower to um, purchase and also until like, beginning of March because that's when we'll get um, like discounts from our registries. So we registered at Amazon and Target. So anyway, we'll wait until then to sort of tackle more of the actual baby nesting part of this process, I guess. All right, now I just wanna show you guys um, a quick belly bump update. Um, I'm on my guest bed again. <laughs> And I'm all in black, so it might be harder to tell, but this is baby at 26, whew, 26 weeks. All right, guys, that is it for this pregnancy update. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you are new here. Um, I'd love to have you follow along with this tribe and, you know, with all my future pregnancy updates and... Um, if you guys have any videos that you'd like to see on my channel, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear, hear your suggestions and be sure to, um, follow me on Instagram. I will put my Instagram handle up here as well as Twitter and we can connect more there. So I will go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Thanks again and I'll catch you next time. Bye.